，坚持，快点。Alright, class, today we did uh, a little bit of stuff that built on the things that we did, or some of the things that we did, in the previous week's class. So in the previous week we had done the, the defenses going forward, the tong, the, the push, hock, I think, and the, that low block that I can't remember the name of. In this class we sort of did some practical use of that, building on what we'd done in the last week. So the first thing we did was uh, shifting your stance so that you could use that tong da. I was having some trouble with the stance switch. You were supposed to keep your weight centered. When I did it, I sort of wanted to sink onto that back leg, um, but I was supposed to sort of keep it centered. Uh, the other problem I had was I found that my stance was getting too wide, which made it really hard to keep it centered. Um, after class, I'm wondering if I should have been sort of turning on my toe to keep the stance relatively thin instead of turning on my heel, which might have been what was making it too big. The other problem I had is that even when you're turned, your knees are still supposed to be kind of together, like when you're in that, that normal stance. But when I turn, my knees always sort of split, and I can't quite figure out how to keep them together when I rotate my stance. So that's some stance stuff that I am going to have to work on and build on going forward. Then we did uh, that sort of stance rotation with the, <clears throat> the same tong da that we had done in the previous week. So that same, this, this, this block, but with a punch. But this time we were doing it with a partner. So somebody was punching us and we were actually, we actually had to block it. So if, you're, if your arm wasn't right, you were going to get punched. So we had to do the same rotation that we had done earlier. And as we rotated, we had to do the block and then punch the other person. And then we'd do it on the other side. We also did it with a step. So instead of just rotating, we sort of stepped to the side. I personally preferred it with the step. Um, I felt that it was a little less technical with the step. Um, when you were just rotating, I felt like you needed to get the technique really, really right in order to be able to block the punch. But with the step, I feel like there was a little bit of um, a little bit of room for error. Like if you didn't do it perfectly, you would still be able to block and attack. I think that having a little bit of room for error is probably good in a self-defense situation because in a fight nothing I feel like ever goes the way that you expect it to. So if, if your technique needs to be really, really, really precise, I feel like there's more of a chance that something is going to go wrong, if that makes sense. I don't get in many fights though, so I may be way off the mark. The instructor showed us one of uh, the reasons that Wing Chun has that center line. Uh, if you're not familiar with Wing Chun, there's like an imaginary line between you and the person you're fighting. And the goal is to sort of control that line, I think. And he used that block that we were doing as, as an example. So if you keep that block in the middle when you're doing this, then the other person can't counterattack so well. So if they, if they try to punch you, and you do the block, and you're doing it right, then the block is sort of in the center of your body, so there's not much they can do. But if they do the block and your punch is not in the center of your body, like it's, it's out here instead of in the middle, then they can sort of collapse their arm and elbow you. But if it's in the center, your arm's in the way. If I had a partner, uh, I could demonstrate that. But that's, a, I guess, a visible reason for why the center line is important. Um, holding that block in the center sort of protects your body, whereas if you go too far out, the other person can sort of counterattack. What I liked about what we did in this class and the content of this class was that it built on the previous week's class. Just like in JKD when we practice things over multiple weeks, I feel like that's very important for actually getting good at stuff. If you just sort of hop around between a lot of stuff, you're never going to pick any of it up, I feel. Um, but by building on what we're doing in previous weeks, uh, one week we did this and then the next week we did it as a, a, a drill with a partner to actually use it, we're more likely to get better at those things and actually be able to, to use them, I suppose. So I'm interested to see if we continue building on it next week or if we maybe do one of the other blocks that we had done.